I'm Micheline Thomas. I'm a visual artist. I like to think of myself as a multidisciplinary artist. I work in collage, painting, photography, and installation. I studied at Pratt Institute and then from there went on to Yale University. I was honored to participate at the Student Museum in Harlem as an artist in resident. After that, I moved to New York, just pounding the pavement, doing what artists do, you know, just making it work. <laughs> Initially, the work that I was making then were portraits of black women. My work consists of mixed medium, acrylic, enamel, silkscreen, and rhinestones. And at that time, I was just really experimenting with materials. Photography was always a big part of my process. A lot of the work that I make comes from photographing the sitter or model first. At that time, I only thought of photography as a resource for my paintings. And it wasn't until after the Studio Museum in Harlem when I really started looking at the photo resources that I made as incredible images that stood on their own. I'm working with an amazing photo gallery, which is Yancey Richardson. Just working with her, I've learned a lot about photographic processes, and she's really allowed me to play with the elements of photography within my practice, which has actually opened up a new body of work that I'm presenting with her this fall, which will be my first solo exhibition with her after our long working relationship of almost 11 years. <laughs> always known about Jet Magazine and Jet Beauty of the Week that had almost like a selfie-esque kind of Instagram social content around it. But I didn't know about the calendars. What I found interesting about these calendars, that they were women that were only defined by the physicality of the woman, the concepts of beauty, sexuality, and sensuality. They were only known by a month or a date. I started making these collages and it really just spoke to me in a way. I wanted to really use these images as really bringing these women forward and, and really empowering them where they're really owning their sensuality and their sexuality, where they're beyond just a printed matter. They're beyond the calendar. They have the empowerment and the power of sort of owning this space, ownership of black erotica. One of the things that I wanted to do is really bring forth my collage element within the photographic process this intersection between painting and photography, me being a painter, but also bringing a little of Micheline into it. <laughs> Initially, when I made these, there was no idea of putting rhinestones or gestural marks on them. It was after they were made, when I was looking at them, I felt like there was more to it that could be conveyed. I really wanted them to have my gestural mark. That was very important to me. So after looking at them, for me, I'm like, it's not enough. I like, I like throwing everything on it. You know what I mean? I was just like, it needs more. I was like, there, you know, this is this, this doesn't have a nice shine on it. There's something about this that's just flat. You know what I mean? It's just like for me, it just needs a little bling. I like stopping people on their track. I like people looking and like, why did she do that? I don't like giving people a one-to-one -one where it's just like, okay, they get it. Because I think the exploration and what's important as an artist is that you're having fun with things. And sometimes you don't always know why you did it, but you know you have to do it. The title of the show, Micheline Jet d'Or, 
I like to play with words and acronyms and have a tongue-in-cheek way of looking and seeing things. The basic means in French, I adore, but I love the fact that it had jet in it. <laughs> and it's like, there's this adoration, there's this way of admiring and the desire to look at and to explore these images.